stoppages. You ask for a score from Hawthorne, they're giving you two goals. Jono, so they're back in front here. And what a game, there's 15 seconds to get another one. Mitchell beat, wouldn't they like Barty to take this one on one? It was probably... If you're the, a, a, a midfielder, you lick your lips at that type of delivery service. Well, they started with a couple of goals and then finished with a blast and a blaze of three goals. Glory, Hawthorne. You'd like to do that a few times. No, Into Hale, he could go along to Buddy and he can take the mark and go back and kick a goal if he wants to. I was thinking about the plan he should use, Buddy. And I wouldn't say playing close to the goal, right. just didn't kick one in warm up at this end. Two marks, two kicks from one end of the ground to the other. Play in its various forms down here at Aurora Stadium. Massive kick in from fullback all the way, marked by Hale. Kicked it down to Buddy, and suddenly they lead by 12. So their uncontested mark two in the middle of the ground after a long kick in. Kangaroos are disappointed with that. Kicked one goal three, but uh, he was always likely to do better than that today. And all of a sudden, he might be able to pop through his third goal, and yes, he does. And the Hawks they are up and running now. Mitchell clearance. So we've got a 360 turn and handball the ball to the boundary. There's the score sources. We'll come back to that in the moment because the Hawks might get another one. And Buddy might just get number four. And it's not even close to half time yet. And they'll need a new foot. Through the time, it's going to come back towards his direction here, whether he likes it or not. Buddy on the lead. Off on a red hot at the moment. The road time to spill a mark like that for Delaney. White cross was there to pounce. Pop it into pocket and again he's clear. Buddy takes the mark. Because the only thing that can happen is Franklin overreacts to it. So it's push it, push it and push it. Don't overstep the mark, but push it as much as you can. Is this four and a quarter for Buddy Franklin? It is. Five for the day, and the Hawks lead blows out to beyond 40 now, and that's nine consecutive goals. He found it. Mitchell Rioli. Oh. Don't tell me he planned that, young. One more to boost, and they were clear and running into an open goal. Or Thompson might have been the more than he could do. For the day, five for the quarter for Buddy Franklin. Point blank range, really. They get two possessions here. That's a smart hit. One out. Franklin with the mark. That's identified, one. Identified the mismatch. So smart kick. Oh, he might want to get an except. But he makes his move. Oh, kick. Oh, oh, that's a unnecessary. A bit of grabbing and grasping. Scott Thompson. Yeah, he's got nobody. If we pull back on this shot here, nobody. See, Zebra's turned his back on him. He's got to run straight out there. Yeah. And well, they all pull away. He might still get a run around here. Wells was onto it, but a little late. So the angle and the percentages did improve. And Buddy Franklin is having a day out. Seven goals for Buddy. Not his preferred side, but boy, didn't the equation turn in his favour as he took the chance to turn the east spot it and kick the goal. Yeah. Another play, they're lighting, lightening the load on. They pushed him forward, oh. take him out of the midfield. He ran pretty hard. Oh, Farida trying to be bold, but he got there. Oh, he's having a day out, buddy, and he kicks another one. When you're hot. Oh, they the skills get... at the moment, the Hawks, and the ball-winning capacity of Sewell and our white cross. Too much time and space as far as North are concerned. They work the angles. Bruce, high ball, but he's there again. Shrugs off Thompson and takes another mark. And the work of Brunton behind on that occasion was able to protect Franklin and Grimer. Try and have a look there. If he kicks a goal and we get a little bit of a break, try and have a look down the ground shot at how he shrugs him off. I mean, He's not a great contestant, Mark, but he is still a powerful man. For number nine. And it's not even three-quarter time. It's not even close to three-quarter time. He's got nine. And that's equal personal best for Buddy Franklin. And we could be looking at double figures in the hole in their defence. Suckling, the wind-up. Smith off the left. Here's Buddy. Right. This is the main event. Buddy Franklin for ten goals. This absolute superstar! First time ever, 10 goals for Buddy Franklin! And he could get so many more today! Yeah, he's he's draft combine. Let's see what he's doing. It. Buddy, it's the only place to go. He knows that he's been watching too! 6-1, 6-1 and a half. 
He can take an overhead mark if he gets a run at it, but he's a ground level player. Virgil's been outstanding. Here he is again, Franklin. Takes the mark. And he's on the right side, Dern. We've seen him kick it from here before. The correct side. Yes. yes. So Buddy Franklin looking for number 11. That's he's good. getting into uncharted territory now. That is 11 for Buddy. Franklin. 50. A minute to go. Here we go. Buddy Franklin for 12. Sometimes you just got to sit back and enjoy the show. And what a show he's put on. 12 goals for Buddy Franklin. Red sky at night. Buddy's delight, sir. He has been a magical performance. What a day for the Hawks. After... Oh, hang on. Might not be over yet. Five seconds to go. Oh, he's out of bounds. 13! 13! Can you believe it? He's kicked 13 on the siren. Do they go to a review? Or it's there? They wave the flags, it's there. Hawthorne have won by 115 points. But we have paired witness to the sheer genius. This nonchalant phenomenon has done it in a way that we only thought and hoped might happen one day and we've been lucky enough to be here to see it. 13 goals for from the man they call Buddy.